Pamela Anderson's love life has been the subject of a great deal of public scrutiny since the actress's rise to stardom in the 90s. She's been married to five people. While her first couple of marriages certainly made waves in the tabloids, her most recent marriages have managed to stay under the radar. This is perhaps due to Anderson herself wishing to remain a bit more private than she was in her earlier days. However, it seems the star's love life is no less heated than it ever has been, with her sixth marriage having just recently occurred. It seems that, since her last brief marriage with John Peters, the actress has fallen head over heels for a member of her security personnel. Join Facts First as we uncover the story of how Pamela Anderson secretly married her bodyguard. Pam Anderson rose to stardom in the 90s via roles in such TV programs as Home Improvement and Baywatch. Before becoming a television star, she posed in Playboy and all of her subsequent TV and film roles took advantage of her status as a sex symbol. Although it's been over 30 years since Anderson was introduced to audiences, that sex symbol status is still as strong as ever. At the age of 53, the star's sense of romance is still strong too. Only recently, she's entered into her sixth marriage, this time with someone introduced to her as her bodyguard. The marriage ceremony occurred on Christmas Eve in Canada to a small audience. According to Anderson, the two of them fell in love during quarantine for COVID-19. She goes on to say her new husband, Dan Hayhurst, is a man who truly loves her. The small reception featured members from both of their families, with Anderson noting they entered into the marriage with both of their families blessing. Although the event of a small, secluded, and seemingly spontaneous wedding is nothing new for Anderson, this ceremony certainly appears to have been a bit more wholesome than the one she shared with first husband Tommy Lee on a Mexican beach. The ceremony took place at Anderson's land in Canada, where she's been staying. The land was purchased from her grandparents. Anderson considered using the land for a business venture before eventually deciding to move on to the land herself more recently. The actress has shared that her parents were married on the same plot of land and are still currently married. Perhaps Anderson can put her bad luck with nuptials behind her and make this husband a keeper. Although the wedding was modest, Anderson still apparently took the time to look her absolute best. Her best is still incredibly impressive, especially for a 53-year-old. The outfit she wore was styled by Janet Ross, with a veil by Valentino. And she featured other accessories from designers such as Joanna Delaney Bridal. However, beneath all the glitz and glamour, Anderson wore a pair of Hunter rain boots, a Canadian staple. She's proud to call Canada her home and feels a strong kinship with the culture that surrounds her family's land. According to the actress, the return to her grandparents' property has brought with it a revitalization of her spirit. The star goes on to say this romantic property has a lot of healing energy. The healing energy allows her to feel at peace there. She elaborates that, to her, her new home is heaven, full of deer, bears, raccoons, and eagles. Besides the numerous amounts of wildlife, Anderson perhaps shares the strongest relationship with the trees. She says these trees have known her her whole life. When asked how these new surroundings played into her recent marriage ceremony, she said that to be surrounded by the nature she knew since birth on her wedding day was very powerful. The marriage between Anderson and her bodyguard was her sixth marriage overall and second of 2020. However, this is only her fifth husband, having been married to one on two separate occasions. It's starting to appear the star is attempting to turn over a new leaf with her new, non-famous husband at her grandparents' property in her home country of Canada. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit the like button to show your support. And subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the notification bell to stay updated of all our content. It makes sense Pamela Anderson made the choice to keep her fifth husband and sixth marriage ceremony away from the public eye. Her past marriages have all occurred in the public spectrum and have also always drawn a bit of ire from those watching. It appears the 53-year-old star is looking to start keeping her life a little more secluded. Now that she's happily living with her new husband on her family's land in Canada, let's take a look back at Anderson's past marriages. Perhaps most famously, she was married to Tommy Lee in 1995. Tommy is best known as the drummer for Motley Crue. The two met at a supper club on the Sunset Strip and were married within months. The marriage ceremony between the two occurred privately on a beach in Cancun, Mexico, after Anderson traveled there for a photo shoot. Tommy tagged along, and the two ended up getting married. The marriage saw the two having a pair of sons, one in 1996 and another in 97. 
However, the marriage between the two celebrities wasn't meant to last. After a domestic spat that saw Tommy Lee removed from their home in handcuffs, Anderson wound up filing for divorce and taking the kids with her. However, the two attempted to reconcile on two separate occasions. Not only did they try to make it work after Lee's release from prison, but they also got back together briefly in 2008. On the eve of his divorce from Pam, Tommy formed a new band by the name Methods of Mayhem. The band released an album in 1999, and that album featured the popular musician Kid Rock doing guest vocals. While this seemed innocuous at the time, the collaboration became somewhat notable retrospectively when Pam Anderson started dating Kid Rock in 2001. After dating for a year, the pair became engaged. However, they decided to break it off in 2003. This wasn't the end of that relationship, though, as Anderson got back together with Kid Rock and married him a few years later in 2006. The marriage between Anderson and Rock only lasted for about a year, with the two getting divorced in 2007. After Kid Rock, Pamela got married to the famous card player Rick Solomon on two separate occasions over the span of seven years. However, neither marriage lasted for more than a year. Pam went on to marry the famous film producer John Peters in early 2020. However, this was her shortest marriage so far. In fact, it's speculated the marriage was ended before the certificate even went through. This short-lived marriage came with a lot of drama. As Peters claimed, Anderson coerced him into the relationship to pay off her debts. Anderson has denied this claim, though perhaps the drama has made her decide she's no longer interested in marrying within the Hollywood sphere. Less than a year later, she went on to marry her fifth husband, Dan Hayhurst, on Christmas Eve 2020. As we've already said, Hayhurst was her bodyguard, and the two became romantically involved while isolating on Anderson's family land during the COVID pandemic. After her short-lived marriage to John Peters, many are surprised to see Pam Anderson tying the knot again so soon. Hopefully, this will be the one that lasts. Comment down below if you're optimistic about this new union or if you think it's doomed to end the same way as her marriages of the past. And be sure you go, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos.